So it wasn't that long ago, uh, last year, maybe it was two years, I'm not sure, time goes by so quickly these days, I reviewed the Weiss DAC 501. I love that DAC so much that I purchased it for my system. Now the 501 is close to a $10,000 DAC. But the 501, what made it special was the inclusion of DSP. Uh, there were room correction equalizers. There was a vinyl emulator. There was a de -esser. You can fine tune with the 501 um, whatever sound you kind of like. Now, at the end of the day, my love for the 501 was basically for the DAC inside of it. I, I didn't use any of the DSP in my system. It had a beautiful screen, a headphone amplifier, a nice case, and it came in beautiful packaging that was worthy. The packaging that you see in those $10,000, $9,000 price points. When I reviewed the 501 and I, I bought it because of that DAC, I didn't buy it for the DSP, I remember listening and I was thinking to myself, if Daniel Weiss could make just a DAC only version of this and make it affordable, more affordable I should say, that would be awesome. But then I said, well, probably would never do that um, because then it might cannibalize sales of the 501 and 502. Well, since that time, Weiss, uh, the Weiss 501 and 502 have underwent an upgrade. They're now four channel DACs and they have brand new DAC chips in them as well. I can't say that I've heard the new four channel DACs because I haven't but I did own and use the 501, the original, extensively. This is the new DAC 204, um, and it's just a cube, a very small cube with actual physical switches on them. And I love these little physical switches. It makes everything so simple and so easy to use. There's no menus to dig through. There's no screen. This is not a preamp. This is just a DAC only, no headphone amp here. It's just a box with the DAC. Now, when I put this in the system, first of all, I'll say this DAC comes in at around $2,800. So that's over 6,000 less than the 501. But right now I'm gonna tell you that this DAC in sound sounds just like the 501. This sounds like a $9,000 DAC, which is absolutely incredible. Now. The 204 is stripped down. Again, there's no display, there's no remote control, there's no preamp, there's no headphone amp, and there's no DSP. So Daniel Weiss took out all of that extra stuff that not everybody needs or wants and produced this DAC, the 204. Now, this has the Weiss sound, which as I described in my 501 review a while back, as being like a studio master tape sound. And I haven't listened to the Weiss in a long time, so when I put the 204 in, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, there it is, that's the sound I remember falling in love with, that studio tape sound. And almost, as I said in the 501 review, there's almost like a slowdown of the music. And there's not, but it, it just sounds like that because you're hearing everything in crystal clarity. You're hearing every sound, every instrument, every vocal breath, every scratch of the throat, right? Every thumb slide on the guitar, you're hearing it all. And you're hearing it with body and depth and layers and texture. I'm telling you guys, I've heard a lot of DACs over the last three years, a ton of DACs. DACs ranging from $400 that you can get on Amazon to DAX in the $15,000 range. Now, a couple years ago, I reviewed the Chord Dave. Now, the Chord Dave, I think, is like $14,000, $15,000 these days. And to me, and I can get in trouble for saying this, this is like, I prefer this to the Chord Dave, this little 204. It has the same amount of impressive detail very close in the holographic 3D imaging sound stage area. Um, the Weiss 204 is not as sharp or as dynamic as the Dave, but it's close. Um, this, this is really an amazing DAC. Um, some people say, well, this is a good DAC in the 4000 range, even though it's 2800. 
I'll say this is a good deck in the $9,000 range and it's $2,800. This deck in my system now, in my reference system, has simply just impressed me, impressed the heck out of me. I was listening and listening and listening and I said, how in the heck could this $2,800 deck sound like the top tier decks from Wise? Or I shouldn't say the top tier, the 501 and 502. There's decks above that in the Weiss range. But Daniel Weiss, who designs these, he won a Grammy in 2021. Um, I have it on my phone here. Um, Daniel Weiss wins the 2021 Grammy for technical merit. So basically, you have a Grammy Award winner who is making a line of DAX that in turn make the music from your system sound exactly like they're supposed to sound, right? Again, this sounds like you're in the studio and you're listening back to the tracks just how the artist intended. I will say this doesn't have any leanness. It's not analytical because while you're getting all those details and the depth and the layers and the imaging, there's a richness and a correctness about the Weiss 204. Um, I don't want to go on and on and on about this. I can keep raving about the 204, but the reasons this is so good. And as of right now, June, halfway in the year, I'm declaring this so far my product of the year in hi-fi audio um, simply because what you're getting for the money $2,800 if you don't need the headphone amp a preamp the display a remote or the DSP functions and you just want a DAC this can give you the high-end sound in that $9,000 range for $2,800 I kept taking this out of the system and I would plug in other DACs. I, I tested um, three or four DACs along with this. I'm not gonna name all the names, but this bested them all for pure all out sound quality and enjoyment. There was just something about it when this little DAC went in and by day two, I said, I'm just gonna call this the magic box. And I almost took a magic marker and wrote magic box. And I was like, well, then I'd have to buy the review unit, um, which I think I'm going to anyway, just because it's just an amazing little deck. And it's just a deck, right? It has one job. It's not trying to do multiple jobs. And I think that's why it's so good. Now, this does come with an external power supply. It's just a little brick with a plug. It's nothing fancy, but this DAC is dead silent uh, when it's on, dead silent in operation. And your switches on the front, uh, let's go over, we'll take a closer look at the DAC right now and the switches and the inputs and outputs. Let's do that and then we'll, uh, I'll do the conclusion. All right, guys, here's the manual, the Weiss DAC 204 operating manual. And here is the DAC itself. So as you can see on the front, you have your input selector because there's three inputs. You have optical, USB, and RCA. I've been using the USB with an AudioQuest diamond. I've had that cable for years and it just sounds glorious. You have a power button on and off. I love these little switches. I love physical switches. It takes me back to a time when we used to have switches on a lot of this gear. Uh, DSD conversion. So if you, it, this will accept DSD, as you can see here, DSD, and here's all the um, 48, 96, 192, 44.1, 88.2, 176.4, and DSD. Now, when this little DAC receives a DSD signal, it converts it to PCM. So here you can pick how you want it to convert it, right? So you have DSD conversion, you have your 16 or 24 bit and then you can convert it to 176.4 or 88.2. Uh, I'm not a big DSD guy, I'll be honest, um, but listening to high-res tracks or standard Spotify, ah, magic, this is a magic box. I'm telling you guys, I'm super excited about this one because of what you get for the money, right? This is not a $10,000 DAC that I'm talking about. The reason I'm so excited is it sounds like a $10,000 DAC but it's $2,800. So here's the back end here. 
You have your outputs, which are balanced or single-ended RCA. You have your optical and RCA in right there. Now here, um, you can take down the output here. So this is full output. Say, say it's too much or it's overloading your system. You can take it down by 10 decibels or 20 decibels. So I love that, right? I just leave it full bore. It works in my system like that. But you could take it down 10 decibels in case uh, it's overloading your system. Here's the power supply input. Then you have your USB in. ES, EBU out right there. So made in Switzerland, this particular one has a serial number of 61. So before I talk about the conclusion, which you guys already are well aware of probably, this came to me from The Music Room, tmraudio.com. They regularly send me items to check out in review and in exchange, I mention their website. That's the deal pretty much. I'm not getting paid to do this review but the Music Room is an official Weiss dealer. And I asked them if they had any in stock. They already blew through their first shipment, but they're expecting more, I believe, this month, June 2023. Uh, but the Music Room is tmraudio.com. They sell used gear. They add something like 20 to 30 used pieces a day. They're dealers uh, for some of the best brands in audio, Weiss being one of them. And uh, I already have uh, one reserved from the next shipment uh, for me. So this is a beautiful DAC. You're not going to get the sound quality that you get from the, this Weiss from any other DAC. No DAC I've heard. TNA DAC 200, um, Nagra Classic, Chord Dave, Chord Cutest, um, Lampazators. No matter what DAC you're talking about, DCS, None of them will sound like a Weiss DAC. The Weiss DAC just has a unique sound. For me, the sound stage, the three-dimensionality, the, the richness, the texture, the layers, it's so complex compared to many other DACs. It's not gonna give you a soft, airy vibe. It's not gonna give you a dark, uh, meaty vibe. It's going to give you a correct vibe. And if that's what you're seeking, if you're looking to hear your music, how the artist intended, I'm telling you, this DAC is going to be one of those um, that people are going to search for. It's going to be sold out. I'm making that prediction. Um, $2,800 is not cheap. I'm not saying it's cheap, but it's cheap for what you're getting right here. You just can't get this kind of sound in any other DAC I've heard uh under 10 grand and that 10 grand is the weiss 501 this has that unique studio tape master sound like you're listening to reel to reel right and to some that is one of the best mediums for listening back to music so highly recommend this dac highly recommend the music room tmraudio.com where you can get one tell them that i sent you uh, there's a link in the description below if you want to check it out on their website. I'll give you a quick link to the product page so you don't have to search for it. It's not an affiliate link. I don't make a penny from it, so uh, feel free to check it out. Uh, Weiss DAC 204, best product of the year so far for me. I love it. I can't stop listening to it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. It's a beautiful day. I think I'm gonna go for a walk today. I love you all and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one, bye.